Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of EI 180s. Today, I want to tell you a story. A story about a millionaire who, by changing her perspective, let her become a millionaire. It's your unlocked potential, and let's start the countdown. Here's a story about a millionaire who shared her story of success and what made her start her business. Let's call her Annie. After Annie graduated from her masters, her father sat her down and gave her a watch as a gift. Annie's father said that the watch was an heirloom from her great grandfather. He told Annie to bring the watch to a watch repair shop downstairs and to ask how much it can sell for. The daughter went and asked the watch repair shop, and the owner said, "This is an old watch. Maybe it will go for around twenty dollars." Annie went home and told her father the price. Annie's father then said, "Go and ask the coffee shop down the street." She returned after asking and said that the owner really liked the watch. He's willing to buy it for hundred and twenty dollars to use it as decoration. The father again said, "How about you go and ask an antique shop?" Annie went and asked and returned excitedly. She said, "Wow, Dad, they are willing to pay two thousand dollars for it. They are even willing to negotiate." Finally, the dad said, "Go and ask a museum." Annie went to the museum and returned in shock, saying they are willing to pay thirty thousand dollars for this watch. Annie's father said, "The moral of the story is, I just want to let you know, people are like this watch. If you put yourself in the right place, the right circumstance, befriend the right people, only then you can bring out your true value." If you keep placing yourself in the wrong place and are around negative people, it doesn't matter how much you're really worth. Compare that twenty dollars to thirty thousand dollars. Which one do you want to be? And he said it is because of this story her dad told her that she later became a millionaire. She looked for the right place, the right opportunities, and became friends with the right people. Imagine if everyone around you are overly negative and saying you can't do this, you can't do that. You might slowly start to believe them. A quote by Jim Rohn goes, "You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with." So today, take a moment to think about it. Who are the people you spend most of your time with? Are they bringing you down or lifting you up? Are they proactive and pursuing their dreams, or are they lazy and unproductive? Do they read more books? Do they exercise? Do they help you learn more things? Do they make you a better person? Little things like these actually impact you in the long run. So expand your worldview and the friends you have around you, so that you are not tied down by limited information or limited perspectives. They say birds of a feather flock together, and this adage sure holds true. Pick your friends and surround them wisely, because like the watch, you can either shine in a museum or be treated like an old watch. And that's 180 seconds. Well, less than 180 seconds this week. I hope you like the story and that you learn something from it. Be sure to smash the like button and follow more of my contents by subscribing with the bell on. Keep on improving and keep learning. I'll see you all this Sunday. Cheers.